Hey, jumps. Hey, what's up? I got a new task for you. Oh, really? What is this? Yeah, so basically I just sent you the mail and there's about 100 of photos. And what I need you to do is put our logo of a company on those pictures because we want to send them as wallpapers uh, to our customers as a gift. You got it? But there's a hundred of them. Yeah, there's a hundred, but once you are done, you are free, all right? Boss, that, that's too much. I, I, I can't do that. No, I'm pretty sure we are done. Um, uh, hold on, John. Uh, I, I, I gotta take it. Good luck. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, of course, yeah, we can do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. How am I supposed to do this task? Okay, can't be that bad. I just need to put it here. I just need to make it center. Okay. And I think it's time to save it. Export. No. Where was it? Okay, picture two, where is the center? Here. Save. What is this? Whoa, who, who are you? I'm the hacker man. What? I came here because I smelled some boring process which can be automated. What? What is your task, Sam? Uh, well, uh, I need to put those logos on a hundred of photos which my boss gave me. But, jeez, this will take me ages. Stop. See? 100 photos. Put something on 100 photos. I already smell some boring process which can be automated. Let's write a Python script and automate your job. What? But, but, but I can't do any Python and programming. I... And this is why I'm here. Let's do this. Wow. Okay, guys, so this is our task. And... <laughs> yeah, let me just take my photo... Uh... My Hackerman stuff out, but yeah, basically this is the task and it's quite popular in, in the world, right? So whenever you have to put like a trademark or you want to create a, a wallpaper. So here you have a wallpaper one and this is the wallpaper after putting a logo and same here, right? And in this case and our company, right? We want to basically uh, create those wallpapers for clients with our logo. And this type of task can be done in uh, Photoshop or, um, or it can be automated and we'll be doing this right now. Okay, so let me show you how uh, the script will work, right? Let's take some photos which we have, this, 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 right? This is the pre-photos directory. We put, for example, four photos here, but can be hundred, can be thousand. And we just do Python uh, automate watermark and what it does is basically it deletes those photos here and in the post photos we already have the directory with a, with a trademark, right? Um, so that's kind of like a, a thing which we wanna do. And now let's build this. All right guys, so in order to build this first, let's uh, install the virtual environment, uh, create a virtual environment and install pillow library. So let's open it in a PyCharm or in a Visual Studio Code or your favorite editor. So let's import a few libraries first. I just need to detect my virtual environment in PyCharm. Let's create the main. This is kind of like a standard start in Python. And let's create the class, uh, which I will call it just uh, watermark automation. You can do this watermark automation, logo automation, doesn't really matter. So first, um, let's just create uh, some initial arguments. So, so in our case, it will be uh, the file extensions, the in directory and the out directory, uh, just the names of them, right? So I'll call them pre-photos and post-photos. And what we can do is basically create those two directories right now. All right, so now we have them. And now let's create a, the, the variable which, hold, which will hold basically our watermark or our, our, our logo, right? So now, okay, so it'll be 
uh, the self-made logo, so uh, logo of uh, my um, software house. So let me put it to the directory as well. Uh, so this is our watermark in here. In our case, this is a self-made logo uh, with a PNG, which means there's no background. And this is also kind of important whenever you'll be doing this. Make sure there's no background, otherwise it'll be just a square, <laughs> a random square on, on, on photos. All right, let's create a function run, which will be like kind of like a main, main function which will be executing from the main. So the first thing which we're gonna do is we have to list uh, the files which are in the pre-photos directory because we need to grab their names and also ch ch check their extensions. Uh, here's um, what we are going to do is basically we do a list comprehension. I know that it could be done in a one list comprehension, but uh, it's just very clear right now how this looks like and in our case it doesn't take that that longer. But basically what we do is we just take uh, files from the directory and then we also check if the file uh, belongs to the file extension and very important thing here is to do a tuple because whenever there is a list we can't pass it as an argument for end with it only works with tuple so let's uh, run it and let's start let's see if we got it so let's put something to our directory first so this is uh, this is our directory and let's put some photos here so those are our photos right and let's run our script so Python and automate. As you can see, it detected uh, the four. Oh, sorry, again. Let me do Python automate. So it detected those pictures uh, in a, in this repository, right? Let me put some other file for a contrast. So I have my health insurance here, and let's see if this will see it actually. As you can see, it doesn't detect it because of our condition. So this is a PDF and it doesn't list it. List it. Okay, so once we get the pictures, now we gotta put the watermark uh, on them. So here's the function, we just pass our pictures, which we got, and now we going to iterate over them. And here, uh, let's create a function which will basically put actual a logo on the photo. So let's think about it, how we can actually put it. We'll be using the pillow li uh, library for it. And basically what we want is actually just put the logo in the center of the photo. So actually to get a center, we need to take the actual image width minus the logo width and divide it by two and same with the height. So basically then our image will be placed in the center. All right, so this is how our function presents, right? We take the file name, here we are pasting it in the middle and then we are saving it in the out directory. So let's uh, test our function just for one file. Uh, what we can do is basically we can do automation and pass the argument here, file name. So for example, we can do picture4.jpg, right? Let's do this. So we do automation dot uh, put watermark on single file and it should work. Let's see. So let's do Python auto automate, right? And now let's open the directory of the post photos. And here, boom, you can already see that it put the watermark in, in the middle, right? Our logo. All right, so now let's just uh, li list through all of the files and uh, clear the directory after operation is done. So this is quite simple. We just iterate over all of the images uh, which were in a uh, first directory. We just delete them because we don't need them anymore. So this is how our script presents. Let's just put it here. Delete. 
And now uh, let's let's check it. Let's run it. So first we go to pre photos, and again we have those four photos here. Now let's go to post. Let's delete that one, and let's see what will happen. Python automate.py and boom. So as you can see here, the magic is happening. And when we go first to our pre photos, this one is empty, and our post photos. Check it out, guys. Boom. One, two, three. Like, it all works, right? So basically, you can see that our boring task was automated successfully. <sighs> what the hell are you doing, John? It's all done and ready, boss. You finished your task, but it's, it's just one hour. What, what, what the hell? How, how, how did you do this? Show it to me. See? Wow. Wow, wow. There's nothing I can tell you, no. You are free to go. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was it for, for today. Basically, this is a kind of like a new series I want to... Uh, make for you uh, whatever there's like a real world problem and there's a way to automate it and yeah I just want to do it for you so let me know what do you think and again I'm running the software agency which is basically focused on all of the automations so whenever you have something in your mind or you may know someone just let us know and yeah don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and see you next time